everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com out here for another gear review. And today we're talking slings. This guy right here, which is the baseline single point sling by Lunar Concepts. If you're unfamiliar with Lunar Concepts, they make some pretty awesome gear out of nylon. Probably most famous for maybe their split fix, which is a piece that goes on the back of a SBA3 brace from SB Tactical, as well as their padded contour sling, kind of two of their flagship products. But they also make a baseline two-point sling and this one right here, which is their baseline single-point sling. Which brings us to single-point slings. Are they for everyone? Definitely not. I would argue that they're relatively specific in their use case. Mainly PDWs, AR pistols, things along those lines. Usually stuff pretty short. And where it really shines, honestly, is when you are actively using your rifle, such as maybe indoors, something along those lines, and places where you would ultimately end up transitioning shoulders, things along those lines. Because when it comes down to slings, personally for me, two point pretty much rules the day as far as like general do all. But single points, I think, do have their place. So we'll talk about this one. For starters, the sling is incredibly lightweight. It's just over two ounces and it comes with an open end allowing you to pretty much put whatever you want on here. It comes with two tri glides. So right here I have a QD on here. Allows me to put it in the back of this gun. There we go. Otherwise you can pretty much put it on whatever. Actually doing some training I was shooting my sugar weasel by Q and I actually put it back here around the buffer tube and it worked well. I just pretty much cinched up the tri-glides to it so it could still kind of rotate some if it needed to, didn't really get bound up. And because that brace that was on there wasn't that far out, didn't really have much room to move, didn't bind, actually worked really well. But definitely some other things kind of built into this. One is their, I believe they call it their Swift Adjust technology. It's a way of basically sizing this thing quickly. Back here, you can either move this forward, giving yourself more space, or you can move it back. That is pretty nice, especially if you're going back and forth between running the slick or maybe you're wearing armor, something like that. Size it easily that way. And then also right here, you can move this, pull it back or push it forward. Again, create space, distance. And lastly, if your gun gets jammed in something, I don't know, depending on your paradigm. Maybe you are doing something over water. This thing is trying to drown you. You can basically press here, break free of it, and not let this kill you. All of that said, have I used it? What are my thoughts? Yes, I have definitely used it. Initially using it, just kind of working through some reps out on the range, working with my Sugar Weasel by Q, 300 blackouts pressed. Also running that same setup, doing some night vision training. And I've also actually used it at a Rune Nation level two carbine course. So where does this shine? Well, actually worked well for the things I was doing in that both of those kind of use cases while I was doing transitioning, i.e. working through with carbine, bringing it down, drawing out pistol, does a really good job for that. Where else does it shine? Well shoulder transitions. So being able to have your gun, make your shots, go ahead and switch shoulders very quickly, very easily, does a great job there. I will say all single points, they are lacking when it comes to one, stowing your gun, and two, trying to basically create a more stable shooting position with your sling, because you kind of only have so much to work with. This does a pretty good job though, in that you can cinch it to you using one of two pieces. So if you have a PDW or something like that, you can actually press this out, again, depending on how this is adjusted, and create tension with it. To include actually throwing it up, if you are shooting over an obstacle and being able to see clamp your optic, get out of your B, and press this thing forward, get a really nice stable shooting position while maintaining a low profile, break shots that way. It definitely works.
So who do I think this single point sling is good for? Well, anyone who wants one or anyone who needs one. At the end of the day, I think single point slings definitely have their place and everything's a trade-off. Two point slings I think are great because they offer tons of options. And with that though, there's definitely, even though they offer options, it's not magic. Like there's the software that goes with it. Like, do you know how to effectively use and adjust a two point sling? Do you both bring it in so you can secure your weapon to you, either in front of you or back of you? climbing over obstacles, things along those lines, or if you need to go hands-on with something and don't want to have something that arguably has more movement dangles. But is that a reality for you and the way you shoot? Or do you want something that you can basically create really stable shooting positions with, wrapping yourself up in them? But to that end, do you know how to do that? Are you taking shots past like 50 yards or do you shoot in the indoor range? I think these are great. They are super lightweight and small low profile. You can basically fold this stuff up, secure it to stock or brace, depending on what you have. It's right there. You can pull it out when you need it. And yeah, if you are doing just carving work or for that matter, just shooting and not activities where you need to stow your gun because you need to go hands-on or climb obstacles or something like that, they're awesome. Really easy with respect to one, transitions, being able to come over, draw your secondary, or for that matter, any of your reloads. Depending on your gun, your sling setup, have a sling webbing coming down here, getting all jammed up in here. Now this alleviates that. And depending on the type of shooting you do, may very well be the best option. You can get them, not terribly expensive, about 28 bucks, and they are sold through Wiseman Company. If you pick one up, have some use with them, let me know how it's done for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.